Hi, today we're going to show you how to back up your existing mailbox using to a PST file using Outlook 2003 or Outlook 2007. So the first thing you need to do is open up Outlook. Um, once you've got Outlook open and you you'll see the obviously your normal Outlook interface, what you need to do is select the either your mailbox which will be listed at the top here or it will be it will say personal folders depending on the configuration of your Outlook. Um, you then need to click on file and go to import and export and you need to select that you want to export to a file so we select export to a file and click next now you need to select a personal folder file that's the default format for backing up Outlook so we select personal folder file .pst and select next um, you then want to make sure that you back up all of your mailbox so we'll highlight um, the mailbox at the top of the tree and select include subfolders if you were backing up public folders then you would obviously select public folders but in this case we're just going to back up this mailbox so mailbox is Joe blogs and we're going to include subfolders we're going to select next we're then going to tell the tell Outlook where to save this now we strongly recommend that you save this onto your desktop um, and we also strongly recommend that you name the that you give it a name that relates to your mailbox. So in this case, we're going to call it Joe Blogs as the file name, and we're going to select OK. So what that's going to do is that's going to save it on on my desktop called JoeBlogs.pst. Um, these options you can leave as default because in most cases you're going to be creating a new PST file. If you are updating an existing PST file, then you need to select whether you want to replace duplicates or or allow duplicates to be created. So we're now going to select Finish and then select OK. If you want to put a password on your PST file then do so. Obviously you just need to remember that you need to record that safely somewhere because if you ever want to access that then you'll need to know what that password is. So in this case we're just going to leave the defaults and select OK. And what you'll notice is that this will in a couple of seconds start the export process to back up a PST file. In fact in this case it was so quick it didn't even show up and what you can now see is that on my desktop I've now got a PST file which includes which is a backup of my um, of my Outlook now we're doing this on a on a mailbox that's got very little information which is why it was so quick but the next thing we need to do is just to test that that PST file has all the data that you would expect in it so what we can now do is go file open Outlook data file then we can go to the desktop and we can highlight the file that you just used to do the backup. So in this case, joeblogs.pst, go OK. That will come up under here saying in the in your view in Outlook saying personal folders. And you just need to check your inbox and make and compare that to your normal inbox and make sure that that's backed up. Um, you need to go and check your sent items. And if you've got lots of sent items, then we strongly recommend that you highlight sent items and look down in the bottom to confirm how many sent items you've got. And then compare that to the um, to sent items in the um, in the PST file. So again, bottom down in the bottom left hand corner here, it says in this case there's only one sent item in this person's mailbox, and compare that to the um, to the exist you know to your master mailbox, and again one item. Okay, so we know that we've got a good backup. Um, we'll also test. We'll also have a look at the contacts, so we can go and have a look at. Um, contacts there's one contact under my mailbox and there's also one contact under personal folders so I'm um, you know I'm I'm very sure at this point that the the backup process has worked and I can now use that as a I can now import that into an into a new account or you can just use that as a as a really basic backup mechanism now depending on how large your mailbox is that process may take anything from seconds like you just saw here to half an hour to an hour depending on the speed of your machine and depending on um, how many email items and how large your mailbox is thanks very much for watching this presentation